Okay, today we're doing a problem I've got on the L322 with a heating issue. Um, got a problem with the heat inside the cabin. Um, it's only blowing warm one side and it doesn't blow very well when the car's not started. Now, on the L322 there is a motor, like this one here. Excuse the bad light, I'm doing this in the dark at night. Uh, there's a motor which is this here, which is fitted down here. Now this is the, um, look at the front of the car, this is the right hand bank of the engine here. Um, this here is the heater valve control down there and the motor we need to replace is under that heater valve control. So what we're going to have to do first is take that off and um, there's three pipes to disconnect. We'll disconnect them, pull that out of the way, then we can get to the motor. Do that. So if you do take, you need to take the heater valve off, this will show you how to do that as well. So first of all, there's an electrical connector. So keep that apart. And undo that. And then like I said, we've got three Jubilee clips. Uh, so there's one here. So the heater valve's got three pipes, one going in, two coming out. So we'll undo the first one. And pull that off. There's the Jubilee clip. I'm going to lose some water when you do this. Some coolant, and we'll top that out the way. And then there's two more. So under the, there's where the electric connects goes in, and there's two pipes there. Um, the bottom one is the inlet, and the top one is another outlet. So one's to the passenger, one's to the driver's side. So we'll undo the. Jubilee clips off those two. Top one first. It's quite difficult to get your hand down there. I'm going to have to take my watch off. I'll do a review on this watch one of the days. Can't really see it, but it's a Casio G Shock solar powered watch. Probably about five years. I break watches, let them go out of fashion, and that one's lasted me five years, so it's doing well. That's the top hose off. And lose some water out of that one. Now we'll undo the clip, the Jubilee clip on the bottom one. We've got them hose clamps in America. So we'll get that one undone. When you undo these and you've got them on the end of the pipe, make sure once they're off the pipe, you off the connector, you push them back on the pipe because I have lost a couple in the engine bay. And I've had to replace them because I couldn't get them back. So we'll give that pull. Get that one off. Pushed on pretty damn tight. <sighs> Under the clip a little bit more. There's not much left on it, but let's make another turn. Finally. So then all you do is 
lift this up it's just held on two little brackets they're not bolted down and that's that out there so I had one pipe there one pipe in at the bottom two out so once that's moved out the way you can see down there right down the bottom is that motor now it's held in in a rubber bracket with an allen key bolt but i found that you can just push it out the rubber bracket without one doing it which makes it a little bit easier so it's just let's see if we can light it up just down there you can see one of the hoses going onto the end of it there um, these are held on not with jubilee clips but with um, the BMW hose clamps and there's an electrical connector on this end of it down there, there it is, you can see it better now there's the electrical connector up there so we'll undo the electrical connector and the hose clamps and then we'll push it out of its holder First thing is the electrical connector. Nothing so easy to get down to this stainless hole. What I'm going to do is use the screwdriver on that connector. Just put the torch back there for a second. the easiest thing to do We'll get this out. There we go, electrical connectors are. Now I can so there's the electrical connector unplugged. Now I can just push this motor out to its holder. So I'll push it towards the back of the car, wobbling it. You can just get it out of the holder without actually undoing it. And it, once it's out the holder, it's a little bit easier to get the pipes off it. See there, I've pushed it clear of the holder. So what I want to do now is get to these pipes. Move that out of the way. I'm going to get to these pipes. Undo the clips, and then pull the pipes off. Very good difficult to see down that hole. Make sure they connect the catch stays up. It's easy to push it back down and pull on it with the catch up. Thank you. 
we go. We can actually see it now. Look at this top pipe. Yeah, it's got to come off like that. Like I say, don't lose the Jubilee clip because this pipe actually goes to the heater valve. So that's that pipe off. There's another one on the rear of it. Same thing again. Undo the clip. Close the clip. Undo the clip. And pull it off. Oh, and there we go. That's the motor finally out. Oh, here's the new motor. As you can see, it's in a holder. That's the holder that I pushed the old one out of. So I'll push this one out of the holder, and then we can just push it back into the holder that's down there. And then that eradicates you trying to undo the Allen key that's in that hole, which is a bit of a nightmare to get to. So it just slides out like that. Good thing is we can put one pipe on, which is the top pipe, before it goes in there. And we put it into the space down there and we can put the rear pipe on, push it into its holder and then connect the connector. I'm trying my best to lock this up in the door. It's not easy. Got the rear pipe here. Make sure Is that the connector, the little clip is still up. I like that. And then we can put this in. So that connector. Make sure it's going the right way around. to start with is take the bottom connector off, put the back one on first.
There's a wine phone there. And then let's where to put the other one. Here it is. We can get this one on here. They don't only fit one way, so as long as you're not making them on. Now we can push this back into its rubber holder down there, then connect the, uh, the plug back up. Then once the plug's connected, and we can put the heater valve back in uh, there as well. And watch out Jubilee because it doesn't fall off. I don't know what you're doing here. You don't want to lose that. To know this was at fault, that's back in the holder there. To know this is at fault, what I did first was took the old one out, put it onto 12 volts to test it to see if it was working. And it wasn't. I was getting nothing happening out of it. So that's what told me I needed a new one. There's the connector snap back on. At the bottom there, that's connector at the back. Uh, so now what we need to do is reconnect the heating valve. So if you ever need to take this out, that's how you take it out anyway. They're just jubilee clips, you can see there's two posts there in the holders that go in. Um, bottom hose goes in there, that's the feed, and then you've got one to your driver, one to your passenger. This can sometimes be at fault if you've got problems with heat either sides. You can take the top off this with some Torx keys and just check that the valves are opening and closing inside as they should. This one has been checked and they are, so it can't be that it's at fault. So then my next protocol was the, uh, the little pump there to try and pump it around uh, the heating system, the electric pump. So I'll get this back on now. So you can put this one on. We're just looking my screw over. You can put that one on while it's not connected, hopefully anyway. Then I'll twist it round to make sure there's no kinks in the pipes and put the other two on. So it's turned out, <laughs> it's best to put that bottom hose on when it's on there or else you just can't get the gig out of it. So we'll put this back down here and we'll put the bottom hose on. So that's it sitting in its holder there, as you can see. Um, and so we'll put the two houses on. Okay. 
just the bottom one. And I'll just get the top one in place so it doesn't get stuck behind the bottom one. There's not a lot of room down here. There we go. So you can see the two houses there at the back. So I'm just going to push them down there. Hopefully you can see that now. Two pipes have been put on there. So we'll get the screwdriver and tighten them jubilee clips. Make sure that your jubilee clips are accessible by the screwdriver and not round the back once you put them on. So tighten them two up. Then we got one more pipe to put on, which is this one, and that one goes onto this end here. This one's the easiest one to deal with. That pushes on super easy. It's easy to get to. You've got your screwdriver there. Tighten that one up. And that's back in, so that's your heater valve back in, all nice and tight. And it just sits on those rubber bungs either side. And then we just reconnect the uh, electrical connector, just tucked it the way. Back into there. So we've got the connector down there into the pump, which you can see. All the pipes are on there, the pipes are on the heater valve, and everything's connected up and snapped together. And everything's as it should be. So now we should be able to get water to pump um, around our engine and around the uh, heater system. Uh, through that auxiliary pump a bit better than it was should get a bit warmer should be a bit nicer in the cabin I hope this helps people who need to do it any questions ask me in the comments